and at least 23 people have also been killed following twin cloudbursts in India's Himalayan state of Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh. Rescue operations led by the Indian Air Force have been intensified. More rainfall is predicted for the state over the next few days. 15 people have been reported dead in Uttarakhand and 8 have been killed in Himachal. Uh, key highways in the affected areas have been blocked due to landslides triggered by the heavy rainfall. The Indian Air Force has deployed drones in Himachal to access the areas cut off by landslides and cloudbursts debris. The military has also deployed Chinook and Mi-17 helicopters in Uttarakhand to evacuate over 800 pilgrims stranded in Kedarnath. As per authorities, if the weather permits, the pilgrims should be brought to safety by today. Over 9,000 pilgrims have been rescued from the same route as per the Chief Minister. At least 17,000 people have been evacuated from affected areas across the state. Efforts to restore electricity and telecommunication are underway. Over 300 roads in Uttarakhand are blocked, including the National Highway. 712 houses have been partially damaged due to cloud bursts, flash floods and landslides. Out of these, 146 have been severely damaged. At least 12 houses are said to have been completely razed. Now in Himachal, the Kulu Manali National Highway No. 13 has also been restored on Sunday evening. Parts of the road had been washed away due to flooding of the river on the 1st of August. One lane of the highway has been made functional, opening it for one-way traffic. A total of 115 roads had been shut following the disaster. Eight school children remain missing in the state. A yellow alert has been issued for heavy rainfall, thunderstorms and lightning in isolated places. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.